cutters. Yep, we're making 3D printed cookie cutters. So this is Sam designing hers. Oh. So everybody drew cookie cutters and then we imported it into um, Adobe Illustrator and then I drew the vectors on top of the artwork. This is Ty's. She drew herself with her tongue out. Yeah. Just yeah. a little derpy me. Little derpy you, it's adorable. So um, I did the vectors in Illustrator and then I exported it um, and then put it into SketchUp to do the three-dimensional model. So here's SketchUp and I'm taking those vectors and I'm gonna make them three-dimensional. So I line them all up and then I extrude all of the different sections and then I scaled them and made sure that they were gonna work with a good cookie size and a good cookie thickness. This is all the ones that I did in SketchUp. They all have holes in them now so that the air can escape and so that there's little places yeah. where you can kind of push the dough out if the dough gets yeah. stuck. Yeah. And here's where I go into SketchUp and I'm just using very simple shapes and lines to uh, put everything together. I didn't do it in Illustrator first, I just built it all in SketchUp. Yep. And he has some actual bevels, so that's kind of sweet. A lot of the time you do your 3D rendering in uh, OpenSCAD. Here I'm just dropping it into that uh, program, Simplify 3D, and export it out to the 3D so printer. 3D printing, you can see mm. those hexagon, that's like 3D a bee, printer. The, the, the um, honeycomb. honeycomb pattern that supports the structure above it. And the 3D printer lays down teeny tiny layers of plastic one at a time. It takes about an hour per cookie cutter to print them. And then once they're done, you peel them up and there's a um, little bit on the side that helps it stay stuck that we peel off and then they're ready to go. So this is Sam testing them out with some Play-Doh. Yeah to make sure they worked, and mm. it worked, success. Success, kata, kata. So now you guys are making cookies. Yeah, we're making the cookies, yay! This was a recipe I found online. I will link it in the description. It was um, chosen because it holds its shape, um, not because it was delicious. It wasn't bad, but um, it wasn't the easiest dough to work with or the tastiest dough. But it, they held their shape really well, and that was what was important to us. So here they are cutting out all the cookies. It was a little bit tricky because some of these cookie cutters have a lot of tiny details, so we had to be really careful to make it not stick. We had to use a lot of flour. But you guys did a great job cutting them out. We also made sure to wash the 3D prints very thoroughly after we printed them while the uh, the plastic is uh, biodegradable, it's made out of corn, it's a PLA, uh, you still don't want to necessarily eat something right off of the 3D printer. Give it a good wash with some, some soap and hot water. And then this is um, us painting our newly baked cookies while well, they're cooled. So uh, we just put a little bit of food coloring in some um, ice trays and mm. added some water and then used some clean paint brushes to paint onto the cookies. And I did with the supervisor and she turned out super duper duper cute and they didn't want to eat her. You didn't want to eat her because <laughs> she was so cute? But I did want to eat the entire thing one that I did. Yeah. She was so creepy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we did um, the Evan and Caitlin um, supervisor in space there. So Sam painted one and I painted one. And then we also have some of our patrons on Patreon, some of our guild members sent us some drawings to use to make cookie cutters. So there's four in here from our guild members um, drawings that they sent that we turned into cookie cutters. So that's super exciting. And they, it's Marnie's. Yep. So we're almost finished painting them, and then we're going to um, take a look at them up close and personal. Oh, there's the carnage after we were done. 
So there's the ice trays with the the um, food coloring. Food coloring. Okay, so there's the supervisor, and there's Terry the tortoise flying. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got Isaiah's hooded man, Anna's sloth, Marnie's heart, and Noah's swords. And there's Ty's little self-portrait, and Samantha's octopus and fish. So adorable. Yeah. Nice work. They're awesome. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join the guild, Check out our Patreon for more fun stuff. It's so fun!